Charles Darwin's landmark book on the origin of species was published in England in 1859. For 20 years before that, he had been refining and coalescing his theories about evolution. However, none of Darwin's radical ideas about geological change, natural selection, and human evolution would have been possible without his trip on the HMS Beagle to South America and the Galapagos Islands. Hi, my name is Monica Varner, and I'm a reference assistant in the Rare Book and Special Collections Division. In July of 1831, Captain Robert Fitzroy was commissioned to lead the HMS Beagle's second research voyage. From experience, Fitzroy knew a long-term voyage of this kind could be very isolating. In addition to someone who could assist in the scientific goals of the voyage, he wanted an educated companion aboard who he could debate and dine with. Cambridge professor John Stevens Henslow suggested Fitzroy take one of his students on his trip. Charles Darwin, then 22 years old, joined the crew in October. His bunk and study on board were in the same room used to store the ship's library. Art de la Lengua de Chile is a Spanish Mapuche dictionary intended for use by missionaries hoping to convert populations under Spanish colonial rule to Catholicism. It was published in 1765 in Lima, Peru. The Library of Congress owns two copies of this text in identical bindings, suggesting this is how it looked when it was first published and sold. The copy from the HMS Beagle is signed and dated by Captain Fitzroy and was purchased in 1835 during the Beagle's five-year voyage from 1831 to 1836. Charles Darwin's detailed diaries make it possible to identify exactly when and where this book may have been purchased. During the first half of 1835, the ship was traveling north up the coast of Chile. In July, Captain Fitzroy left the Beagle to assist with a nearby British shipwreck. He rejoined the crew in August in Lima and may have acquired the book there. This Mapuche dictionary was published at the Street of the Incarnation near the Plaza Saint Martin in central Lima. This particular press also produced the earliest identified example of three-color printing in the Americas. Mapuche territories were colonized by the Spanish beginning in the 16th century. Tensions and conflict continued between the two during the period that this dictionary was published in 1765 and at the time the Beagle visited Lima in 1835. Like many indigenous groups in colonized areas, the Mapuche were frequently stereotyped as murderous barbarians. Mapuche-adjacent languages are still spoken today in South Central Chile and in Argentina. The library's earliest Mapuche dictionary was published in Lima in 1606. The website Darwin Online, directed by Dr. John Van Wy, has compiled an extensive database cataloging the works that formed the library on board the HMS Beagle. It included several similar works on indigenous South American languages, showing how the crew would have encountered and documented not only new plants, animals, and geology on their voyage, but human cultures as well.